السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ اینڈ پرے یو آر آل فائن ایٹ ہوم ٹوڈے اسٹوڈنٹس وی شیل ٹاک اباؤٹ ون مور پوم دیٹس اسنو ڈراپ جاٹ اٹ ڈاؤن بائی ایڈورڈ جیمز ہیوز اور سمپلی یو مے کال ہیم ٹیڈ ہیوز سو واٹس دس اسنو ڈراپ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس snow drop is a small white flower that appears in early spring and it gives bell like flowers jisko hum urdu mein gul mehtab bolte hain aur is par phool tab lagte hain jab tez hawaye chalti hai aur zameen barf se dhaki hoti hai let's not go into the poem for students uh, let's discuss a few things about Ted Hughes. Ted Hughes, my dear students, was born on 17th of August 1930 in Yorkshire, England. Ted Hughes is a modern poet and right from his childhood he has been interested in animals. Once he got a chance to see the world of animals and the lesson he learned was that animals were by and large victims the wild world of the animals was at the mercy of the ordered human world he wrote animals are not violent they are so much more completely than me william james his father took an active part in world war first and it had last an everlasting impression on the memory of ted hughes later on my dear students he he reflected this cruelty of war death violence and nature in his poems there are two student student there are two poets who wrote about nature one is william wordsworth and another is ted hughes william wordsworth praised nature he wrote in favor of nature while as ted hughes wrote against nature right wordsworth found nature a nurse a guide and guardian but on the contrary ted hughes found nature as powerful vital and violent and this is quite visible in this poem and in this poem mm, uh, ted hughes also creates an atmosphere of harsh winter in this he presents the image of nature as tough and harsh right so ted hughes students was married to a to a famous american poet novelist and short story writer sylvia plath uski shaadi sylvia plath ke sath ho gayi thi and she is best known as a confessional poet jaise kamla das hai کانفیشنل پوائٹ یعنی یہ کوئی بھی چیز کرٹنس کے پیچھے نہیں رکھتے تھے ٹھیک ہے یہ ہر ایک چیز کانفیس کرتے تھے یہ جو سلویا پلاتھ تھی اس کی ریلیشن جو ہیوز کے ساتھ اٹ واز ٹمل چوس اینڈ لیٹر آن شی کلٹ ہر سیلف ان نائنٹین سکسٹی تھری بیکاز دا بیکاز ہر ریلیشن شپ وتھ اس کی لیگل افیئر تھا اس کو ایک لیگل افیئر چل رہا تھا اور ایک عورت کے ساتھ اینڈ کرٹکس یہ بولتے ہیں دس از دا ریزن کہ سلوی اپلات نے سوسائڈ کری ہے ہیوز سو فار ایز ہز کنٹریبیوشن از کنسرن ہیوز کلیکٹڈ ورکس انکلوڈ دا آئرن مین دا ہاک ان دا رین نائنٹین ففٹی سیون واچنگ دا تھاٹ فاکس فلاس اینڈ انسیکٹس the jaguar the moor town cave birds crow and lupica he was my dear students won many honors many prestigious honors and eventually he passed away in 1998 in england due to cancer so this is all about uh, ted hughes now let me provide you the brief and succinct introduction about the poem speak up so what's the title of the poem 
sorry not speak up it's snowdrop yes so you have come to know about the snowdrop that snowdrop is a white flowering plant which which produces bell like flowers during winters in this poem the poet presents the harsh and cruel image of nature unlike other poets who who use nature to depict the beauty and glamour whose paints nature as very cruel and heartless in this season he portrays an atmosphere of severe winter he creates an ambience of severe winter and draws out images from nature to to display the toughness and brutality of harsh winter he says winter has reduced the horizon of many creatures and they are on the verge of death they they no longer scurry they are immobile and numb eventually he he speaks about a flower called snowdrop and which produce flowers during harsh winters he admires the plant he praises the plant that that sp sprouts through the frosty surface of the earth so this is all about uh, ted hughes and the introduction about the poem in the next video uh, we'll discuss the poem line by line so i'll stop here stay tuned in thank you bye bye take care allah hafiz